Welcome to Fractions for Kids by WizKids Bites. Hi kids, I'm Cleo. Today we're going to have so much fun learning about fractions. Does anyone know what fractions are? They help us when we need to share things equally. Like when you share a pizza with friends, we can use fractions to make sure everyone gets an equal share. Take this chocolate bar, for instance. If you want to share it with three friends, you can break it into four equal pieces. One, two, three, and four. Knowing that each friend would get one of the four pieces of the chocolate bar. We can show this as a fraction. So if we break it into four equal pieces, each piece is one quarter of the whole bar. This written as a fraction is one quarter. Okay, let's see if you can work this one out. Don't worry if you're unable to. I'll help you with the answer at the end. Imagine you have two apples and you wanna share them with two of your friends so that each of you gets an equal amount. What do you think we can do? You can cut each apple into three equal pieces. This way, each piece is one third of an apple. Now count the pieces. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There are six pieces in total, right? So each friend gets two pieces. In math, you can say that each person gets two thirds of an apple because you took two pieces, and each piece is one third of an apple. Remember when we cut the apples into three pieces? That's where we get the thirds from. So, to recap, we took two apples and we are splitting them between three friends. So, we have to split each apple into three pieces. This way, we have an equal amount of apple pieces that we can give to each friend. In total, we have six pieces of apple and each friend gets two of the six pieces of apple. We know that there are three children and that they all get two pieces of apple each. This written as a fraction is two thirds. Each friend gets two pieces. Each apple was cut into three pieces. So by sharing two apples among three friends fairly, each friend gets two thirds of an apple. Isn't sharing awesome? Now let's learn some magic fraction words numerator and denominator. When we talk about fractions, we use the words numerator and denominator. The top number is called the numerator. It tells us how many parts we have. The bottom number is called the denominator. It tells us how many equal parts the whole is divided into. Let me show you an example. Here, one out of four pieces of apple is one quarter. One is the numerator and four is the denominator. Time for flashcard magic. When you see a fraction, shout out what you think it is. Are you ready? Let's start with one we already know. Can you remember what this fraction is? That's right, this one is two thirds, well done. What about this fraction? Pause now to think. So 3 fourths represents three parts out of four equal parts. If you have a pizza and cut it into four equal slices, taking three of those slices would mean you have 3 fourths of the pizza. What about this fraction? Pause now to think. Each piece is one half of the cake. This is one half. Imagine cutting a cake into two equal pieces. What about this fraction? Pause now to think. This is one quarter or one fourth. If you cut a cake into four equal pieces, each piece is one fourth of the cake. Great job, now it's quiz time. Question one. If you eat two slices of a pizza that was cut into eight equal slices, 
What fraction of the pizza did you eat? Pause now to think. The answer is two eighths or one quarter. This is because two eighths is the same as one quarter. Well done, whiz kids. Question two. What is the numerator in the fraction three fifths? Pause now to think. The answer is three, as the top number is called the numerator. Well done again. Question three. What fraction represents half of something? Pause now to think. The answer is one half. Well done, whiz kids. Question four. If you divide a sandwich into three equal parts, what is each part called as a fraction? Pause now to think. The answer is one third. Well done, whiz kids. You're doing great. Question five. How many quarters are in one whole? Pause now to think. The answer is four. There are four quarters to a whole. Well done, whiz kids. We had so much fun with fractions today. Thank you for joining me. See you on our next adventure. Until then, keep practicing and stay curious. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more magical math adventures with me. Bye for now, whiz kids.